why be easy when you can just die? Woo! I'm Chewy Mew. Welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome to another Chewy Mew video. Right now, we're going to be taking a look at two packages I recently got on eBay. Here's the first one, and here's the second one. Both of these came from eBay. Uh, this is actually like taking Venom two month or three at this point. Like, hey, I'm going to make a bunch I, of Venom themed videos. I'm trying to do an intro maybe like on two minutes, and I keep rambling that, that it ends up taking in, longer. So all you missed was me cutting right here open on the, screen. the box right the here, but everything else is sealed. I haven't taken it out. The intro was a mess up on the Just because I was like, you know, it's been like three and a half minutes. I haven't made any progress. And I'm already wasting time here. So basically, symbiote the whole symbiote idea of this is these are two nice. So that way, I'm going to put them as part of Venom on eBay. They're really cheap. They're like about ten dollars a piece, which is really good. And the intro is basically trying to miss some accessories, but I'm also kind of okay with that. To Glenn yeah, the reason I got Glenn Webb and also rest in peace, I don't collect them. Where now had, I do, uh, pretty much, because I got these and I have like more, so I have like 90 eBayaholic. now, in which uh, basically in like confessing that he's an this addict to eBay, buying a bunch of stuff on eBay when it's probably not necessary or maybe necessary. Hey everybody, it's Glenn. With this video, I am attempting something a bit different to my usual custom action figure videos. Just trying to uh, broaden the appeal of my channel and um, keep people interested, really. I'm calling it Confessions of an eBayaholic. Um, fans of really bad romantic comedies will see what I did with the title of um, this video. And hopefully, it will become something I can do weekly as an episodic thing. And really what it's about is just highlighting some of my um, finds on eBay um, either as you know possibly base figures for custom action figures so you can kind of see what projects what direction I'm heading in with my customs before um, I even begin work on them and also just figures for my own collecting and Probably the third category of stuff you'll see in videos like this is just random goofy shit I buy on eBay because I'm an idiot and can't help myself really. The inspiration for getting these, despite being 90s Toy Biz figures, was the Along Came a Spider, uh, Venom the Symbiote wave, or no, Along Came a Spider wave, Venom the Symbiote figure, which is on screen here as well, uh, and this thing's phenomenal, a uh, tons of paint apps in detail, incredible sculpt, and it's a huge compared to a regular 6-inch figure, especially compared to the 90s Toy Biz 5-inch figures. So, that being phenomenal and looking great, these other two figures are from a similar era. Not necessarily the same wave, but they're very similar in design and sort of style. So, I couldn't help but getting them. And actually, as of recording this footage right now, I've actually bought another one, and it'll arrive here um, this Saturday. In this video, uh, the audio right now is, was actually recorded uh, March 3rd. But either way, hope you enjoy the rest of the unboxing. I pretty much said everything I need to know. Basically, it's the second day of Venom Month. Rest in peace, Glenn Webb, and shout out to him for kind of copying his series. And also, enjoy. Wow. And uh, here it is. So I know what is in here. Oh, dear. That's not good. So I know what's in here. You guys don't. And I've really got to change the thumbnail before I upload this so you don't know. And then, boom, spoilers. It is um, uh, uh, the Bride of Venom. That is the official name of this figure, and she doesn't stand too good. Yeah, this is Bride of Venom. This is from the Along Came a Spider Wave. I'm just going to throw those on the carpet for now. It's disinfector here. Yeah, this figure is called uh, yeah Bride of Venom, which is supposed to be Eddie Brock's... Uh, I, I don't know. If, I think his ex-wife. I think it's his ex-wife. I think they're divorced. I don't know. Um, in Like when she gets possessed by the Venom symbiote. I will say right off the bat, my only issue, she has, like, paint, like, dirtiness right there. I might go up and, like, touch some of these stuff, like, put some, uh, some, uh, some finish over these figures. Just to preserve the paint and make them stay on as long as I can. Because some of these 90s Toy Biz figures, the paint wears off kind of easily. I actually didn't know uh, she had these joints. I just thought she had the rotation here. Oh, and wrist rotation. I didn't know that. I didn't know the arms would move up. I thought they just rotated like this. The legs, unfortunately, don't. But, you know, either way... Like, this is what I was talking about. Uh, I didn't mention it, but these are more statue-esque. They, they work. You can still play with this as, like, a kid. You can still definitely get fun out of this playing with it. Um, just, you know, uh, no, uh, you're not going to have, like, you know, this level of posability. This is a less super posable figure. My first ever Spider-Man figure. First ever Spider-Man figure is less posability compared to, like, something like Sinister Six Spider-Man. But this one has a lot more posability than this. Um, and it seems like, yeah, she is 
it's six inch scale. Like she is a bit shorter. Uh, I don't know why they gave her like this weird, like hunched over knee. I guess they wanted to make her butt and look as like sticking out as much as they could. But uh, she looks really cool there. Uh, if you were to stand her up, she might be about this height. I uh, compare like the torso and stuff. She is a little bit more narrow than Spider-Man. But she looks really cool. It looks really good. Um, you get this head sculpt where she's kind of like half. Can't bend the knee, so it's hard to get her like lined up here. I'm trying to see if I can. There we go. She looks really good. You know, really good face sculpt there. Uh, this is when Toby started to, started to do more detailed faces. Like you can see how detailed the symbiote face there looks. I like that it didn't just. She got stuck to the tripod. I like how they didn't just do a regular Venom face. This actually doesn't look just like regular Eddie Brock Venom. The torso is cracking open here. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, but it looks really good. Look at the wash in the, the hair. The face is not... The face is, like, is animated. It does, it animated. It doesn't just look like, you know, stone face, like a lot of the Hasbro... Pretty much every Hasbro female, female face just looks like a static doll face. But she looks really cool. Really good face. Uh... A body uh, comparable to like that of the Hasbro Scream, as far as like the the curves to it, I guess. Look, she looks really good though. Unfortunately, there's like some paint chipping here. You can see there's like the black lines right there are not painted in, uh, like right there. That's like a splotch right there. I could probably maybe fix that. Uh, it does look a little bit dusty. There's some dust here and there, some crack, like I said right there. Um, she does have peg holes, and her foot says uh, 1997 Marvel T Marvel Toy Biz. I always say that. I always get that mixed up. Marble Toy Viz, or Marble... You know what I mean. Look at the Simeo lines on her. Really good. The skin color looks really good as well. Um, you know, I really wish, like, this had... I mean, it looks cool in this pre-posed pose. I just wish her legs were, you know, straighter. Instead of this weird, like, her knees are, like, kind of almost hitting. The posability is... It's, it's decent. You know, obviously it's not, you know... I'm not going to win any awards for this posability, but it looks really good. Look at look at this. Like if you're to compare these two, and I was to say, yeah, this is five inch five inches. You'd believe, yeah, that scale kind of looks good. That's a very big height difference. She is like ever so slightly shorter than the six inch scale mark. Um, but I don't know. But either way, she doesn't stand up too good. I'll be back. Okay, good news. So I have this custom Venom base here, and she fits on it perfectly. So I made these peg holes or the pegs on this to fit Toy Biz figures, and she fits perfectly on it. Specifically, like, the 6-inch scale Toy Biz, but they have 6-inch six six inch scale pegs on their feet, so that's really good. That looks... She looks really good, honestly. That's a really good-looking figure. I wish she had better leg position. Like, having low posability, I'm okay with that. I've reached a point in collecting that low articulation no longer is really an issue to me. And this one is going to be quite a bit bigger than her, I think. I'm going to guess it is. I think it is. Oh, yeah, it definitely is bigger. It's... There we go. Is there anything in here? Yeah, nice bubble wrap. I like the person who wrapped it up really good. Uh, and then here it is. This is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, dear. Uh, spoilers! This figure is huge. And it is... Honestly, looking at pictures and videos, I didn't think it was this big. And that figure is... Venom the Madness. This thing looks awesome. This looks so cool, dude. Unfortunately, he is missing uh, some of his arms and, like, the tentacles on his hands. But, wow, I did not think it was going to be this big. I, Oh, the tail's squishy. I didn't know that. I did not think I did not think the figure was this large. He is hunched over, so he does look a bit shorter. He's really chunky and really heavy feeling, so that's really good there. Um, let's just infect him here. You know, I, I like to think that a Hasbro's... Uh, like Hasbro's uh, Toxin figure there, uh, the Deluxe figure. I don't even know why it's Deluxe. It should just be normal. Uh, the Deluxe figure, uh, I like to think, is sort of an homage to this. I definitely know uh, Diamond Select made their... One of their Venom figures has has the same kind of, like, head backpack you put on to make him look like... Make him look all nice and crazy. Like this. Uh, but this thing... I did not... I did seeing pictures and videos of this figure, I did not think he was this big. I thought it was going to be like, you know, I don't know, maybe like this kind of, I, I knew he was bulky, but I didn't think he was this big, you know, I thought he was, thought it was going to be smaller. Um, that's really cool though. This looks really good. He does have some dirtiness here, which I'm probably going to, you know, wash him with some soap and water, maybe just water. Uh, cause he d is dusty in parts. Um, unfortunately, he is missing his two arms here, which I thought these were hard plastic. They're squishy, which I really wish Toybiz sculpted these on the body. Like, they sculpted these 
I know they didn't sculpt these heads on. It does have a button that if you press it, the heads pop out. But this thing is huge. I didn't think... My voice went kind of high there. I didn't think he was this big. Like, he is shorter than him. Only because this sucker's hunched over and his legs bent. Like, if you get these guys in the same pose, kind of. Like, at least the legs. He can't really do it, but... He's, they're basically in this pose. He's huge. He's shorter. He's shorter than uh, Venom the Symbiote. But... I mean, you know, being shorter than him is like saying you weigh less than, like, a truck, you know. That's expected. Uh, not, he's the tallest figure in my collection, definitely. This thing is huge. I did not think it was actually this big, you know. Like, how does... How does... Where's... Is Eddie Brock just tiny? Is this, like, Hulkbuster kind of thing where he's, like, a tiny dude in this suit and then Venom is just enormous? This looks really cool. It looks really nice. The postability on this thing is is actually less than than a uh, bride of venom here let's get this guy he's not even part of this video um but i feel like his posability is kind of more useful because at least you have like leg kicking and then arms guys toy biz look at what toy biz did here this is this is great and to think that and to think that this was only like seven dollars it is kind of weird you know i typically crap on hasbro for for stuff like so why does one figure in the i mean hasbro doesn't Oh, the head rotates. I didn't know that. So Hasbro doesn't make stuff this big and stuff this small, like, in one wave. But, you know, it's kind of like when I complain about Hasbro, like, um... I'm trying to think of any examples. Like, they have, like, a big figure in a wave. Like, like a Hulk, for example. Then they have, like, I don't, I don't know, like, some, a Black Widow or something with barely any detail to it. And they're like, how do you guys put this in a wave when one of them is clearly more detailed and just better looking? But in this case, they're both the same price and they're, like what was this like maybe eight or nine dollars in stores stay still dude like eight or nine dollars in stores maybe seven unfortunately i wasn't alive in order to get these in stores but seeing this difference it kind of works because they're both really cheap i did pay like ten dollars for each of these like maybe like 11 or 12 with uh or no they had free shipping so it was like maybe like 11 dollars with tax where i live tax is about 10 percent. it's 9.87 or 9.78 so the tax is kind of low here I'd rather not pay tax at all, but you know. But this thing is so cool. I didn't... So I did watch uh, Toy Shiz's review of this. And he didn't compare them to any, any, uh, any like, modern figures. Or any six-inch scale figures. And, uh, which, you know, it makes sense. Because these are not meant to be with six-inch scale. These are their own line. They're, they're, they're with their own line. So it's not really fair to compare them. But I'm going to compare them. Because that's, because that's, you know, cool. Like, you know, seeing a Venom this huge. And if he was, like, up to Spider-Man's chest, it'd look kind of weird. But look at that. That's... Like, his, his, one of his back heads is, like, the size of Spider-Man's head. I'm totally going to do a review on this. You know, I've been meaning to do a review on this, and I just procrastinated so much, which I definitely, definitely need to do reviews. Look at that. That's a really cool gimmick. Kind of dumb, but at least it's not a gimmick that makes him, his body not poseable, which, um, you know, that looks really cool. Look at that. I really wish he had the other arms. Unfortunately, he didn't, but this one was, like, like I said, like 10 or $11, so, there are some with, he has, like, the little, the tendril thing coming out of his hands here. Um, and then he has the the arms here. But th those are, like, 20 or $30, or, like, 40 bucks if you want them in mint condition. Uh, if you want them in the package, you're looking at, like, $100, which is crazy. I only got him because he was really cheap. I really like both of these figures. I was like, they look phenomenal, and they're cheap, so I'm definitely going to get them. You know, uh, when I get rich and I win the lottery and I become a millionaire, I'll totally rebuy all of my Toy Biz figures uh, mint on card and probably m maybe not even open them but look at that look at that crazy scale difference between these two i just wish she was i mean i guess if you have her hunched over like this that's a little bit better looking but i wish i wish her back or like i wish her legs were straighter you know even if she just had the t-hips that only kick like this i i'd like that but i don't know because she looks like she's about to like fall over but either way uh that is that's all for this these two things look they look horrible in the best way like this thing looks horrendously good horrendous and you know the best way venom needs to look horrendous like this but yeah that's all for this video i will definitely do a full review on both of these um you know just uh just gushing about how good these are but yeah that's all for this video let me know what you think about both of these figures and i will see you guys in the next video i don't even need to do why they're this good bye guys bye